Uh, so let's see. One of the things I have thought about doing is redeeming some of these souls that I have to see if I can acquire some more. Some more, you know, spending money. Is there any way to use all? Okay. I now have 4,400. Uh, if I unequip this shield, is that going to reduce the amount that I'm currently carrying? I, I was wondering that as well. Equip load. No, it doesn't look like my equip load changes. Uh, but I wanted to increase my dexterity enough to be able to use some of these weapons. Because I didn't... Did I? I can't remember if I did that last time. Dexterity? No, my dexterity is 10. Why were some of these weapons still, uh, like, preventing me from using them? Like, if I want to use the halberd, I need, oh, 12 dexterity and 13 dexterity. I can use the broadsword. I guess I, there's no point in me uh, specifically leveling up for something that's only a D tier weapon, as far as I can tell. So maybe I'll just go with the broadsword for now. Okay, so I've just got the broadsword on. I don't know if taking off the arrows reduces what I'm carrying as well. And I don't know what ratio of uh, weight will make it so that I, I, I heavy roll. We're good at the moment, so I guess we'll go with this so far. Hi there, lady. You had a key that I was going to buy from you, but it wasn't at like 20,000 souls or something. Tower key. Passion one. Don't worry, I will try to bring you more souls. Music. That's a 10. Hello, Elena. <sighs> it's my friend Grey Rat. Oh, hello, you're back. I am. I'm in one piece. Trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. Nice. He's a little pilferer. He's got... Uh, looks like a lot of consumables, but no, he's got weapons too. He's got the bastard sword. That's only a T... or a... a, a D. The mace is better in terms of scaling. Interesting. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, this place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've no way? <laughs> well, maybe that's why he was locked up. I mean, he did say that he was a petty thief, so that's, you know, actually fair. This is the sad guy. That's the way I came in. I think... I think I can level up again, and then I think we can head to uh, head to the next area. Very well, then take me. We'll just bump strength again. Oh, can I level up again? Yes, I can. Strength again. Farewell, may the flame. Bye bye. All right. We are heading to foot of the high wall because we have gained access to the undead settlement.
well, it's settled with a bunch of of hostile enemies. I look f I look forward to it. Any secrets over the edge? Uh, oof. are those just a bunch of people? Like, laying down before a, uh, a dragon corpse? Because that's what that looks like to me. Large soul of a deserted corpse. Oh, what concert are they going to? A couple of dogs down there, too. All right, well, down the stairs we go. Jelly roll? I don't think I'm familiar. There's a hole in the wall here. Oh, they're killing each other. For once, I'm not the target. Although, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, dogs that are going to win this fight here. Unless one of these people decides to suddenly burst into a big old sack of corruption. Got the noises that they make, though. Alright, well, it's unfortunate the dogs won because they're much more annoying to dodge. Let's see if I can get, like, one dog at a time. That one over there spotted me. Got him. Another pupper. There's one like facing the wall over there. Okay. And then this one. Cool. Even with me clanking my sword against the uh, the cart, we're good. There's a lever here. Is that just gonna open up the gate? Okay. But let's go explore this this way first. All of the people that are lying around in supplication to the the dragon corpse. At least I hope it's a corpse. Cool. Pillage remains for an alluring skull. Hi there, friends. How's it going? I assume that they're dead. I don't... Please. Oh, hi. Grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> well, let me read what this message says. Friend ahead, but be wary of curse. Huh. Oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol of Londor, a pilgrim as you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. I mean, I gotta accept friends, right? Sure. Oh, I am honored. I've Truly. made another friend already. We're on a roll. I should be dead. Yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Okay, bye, Yol. So the dragon's actually facing the other way. I'm seeing an item over there. There's there's a body with an item in the distance over there. That means it's I'm supposed to get over on that side at some point. Homeward bone. Okay. I'm definitely not making that jump. I can tell you that. All right, we got a new friend. Uh, don't know what beware of curse means. That gives me a little bit of pause. Not enough to turn away friendship, but <laughs> enough to make me worry, which is probably what they want from me. I'm not allowed to rest easy. 
Not when I'm playing Dark Souls. Another lever. Would this close the gate? That is a ghost <laughs> and not somebody trying to kill me. Another another bonfire too. That's weird. I did not mean to rest at the bonfire because that's just going to bring the dogs back to life. Can this be a shortcut? And he's pointing. I don't know. The blood stains tell me probably not. Interesting. The gate has been shut. I'm just going to try and sneak up on this fellow right here. Oh, hi. You turned around at the inopportune moment. I love bodies hanging from the ceiling. Not even the ceiling, just hanging from the wires. Hi there, friend. Oh, there's another one. He's got a pitchfork. All right. Not so bad so far. Huh, it's a sniper. Are you referring to the fellow up on the top of the tower with a bow? He does appear to be moving. <laughs> oh, I look forward to that. I'm sure that's going to go great. See, this person's just overgrown with wood. I like how rolling into the boxes made the body fall. Why did I just get souls? Okay. All right, let me just cut this guy down to take his shield. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. I can break through here. Uh, oh, a little gremlin. You have Grey Rat's hood, or you have Grey Rat's hat. But you do not have Grey Rat's best friend, who is me. Okay. I guess going over that way made it so that he didn't, like, jump on me from above. Good to know that's an option. Oh, that's a lot of them. That is a lot of people over there. Can't wait for that. Repair powder. I'm guessing I need to cut this body down, preferably without falling. Okay. Charcoal pine bundle. Enemies? There's a little gremlin over there. And there's one right around the corner. How many people did they stuff in these cages? Like four person, four persons per cage? Four people in each one? That sounds miserable. And then just, you know, a pile of bodies in the in the corner. Oh hi. More of these charcoal pine bundles. They, the, I assume these are like temporary damage booster kind of things, right? Charcoal pine bundle, apply fire, okay. It uh, looks like they're just taking me straight into the area with a uh, big guy in the towers up there. Straight into the area with all of the people. I'm not worried. Who's worried? Loretta's bone? Is Loretta dead? 
She's the one I was supposed to bring the ring to. Old human bone with several holes bored into it. Okay. Are these guys going to be hostile? Yes. Yes, they are. But hey, if I can pick them off just one at a time, like they're not paying attention. I guess Loretta's bone could mean that the bone belongs to her, like it's a, it's a thing she's using for something as opposed to actually being a bone from the inside of her body. That's another way of interpreting that. Ah, I was trying to dodge. Oh, that is a big person. Oh, and they're running at me. They're running fast at me. And casting spells. A slow moving spell? That did not sound nice. Okay, the other guy seems like he lost interest. So I can just focus on you. This this lady's finding something really funny. Ow. Ow. Alrighty then. Big fiery hug. Okay. She was not very nice, <laughs> even if she did try to give me hugs. I went through three of my essence flasks for her. Took the other guy. All right, I've taken quite a bit of damage here. I got one more Estus to use. Uh oh. I was wondering how long it would take you to realize that the hill was taken. <laughs> King of the hill. Hill taken. Don't drop anything valuable. Nope. Okay. So I can cross this bridge over that way. And then there's a pathway down there as well. This looks to be a dead end. So let's see let's see what's down this alleyway door open lots of bodies lots of karkai there's a hole in the floor probably don't want to just drop down the hole whoa <laughs> the cage of people's alive <laughs> 
They're throwing stuff at me and I don't want to know what it is. <laughs> I was not expecting the cage of corpses to uh, to start coming at me. Are the are the bodies gonna fall and uh Oh. One of those had a soul in it. That one there is definitely alive. Does not open from this side. Does that mean I have to drop down the hole? Looks tasty. Oh, drink Estes soup. Sure. Oh, how, how nice. It healed me up. <gasps> Warrior of sunlight. Wait, 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 wait a second. Pledge oneself to the warrior of sunlight. How do I? I want, I need to. <laughs> I have to praise the sun. I will figure out how to actually use this covenant. All right, uh, so that corpse is definitely alive. And I go, I went for the preemptive strike and I did not get it. Oh, uh, that dude's got red eyes. Ambush ahead. That's scary. What is he even holding? All right. Red eyes meet, don't mean shit. <laughs> Ambush ahead. What? Thank you for the warning. I hear more people. There's probably another one up there. But I can't like I can't get up there my like from here, so I'll have to. It's just a little gremlin guy. Come on. You want a piece of me? Get over here. Cowardice. That's another one right there. Oh, the ghost. I thought it was the guy ambushing me. It's another one. Thankfully, they don't hit very hard, even if I do get hit by them. Don't know how to get to the upper floor of this building, though. Try rolling. Okay. Hey, look. There's something down here. Soul of an unknown traveler. All right. So there was still a whole other path to check in the, from the central area, so I'll need to be aware of that. Oh, it's another one of the mean ladies. Is it homing in on me? I don't appreciate being just sniped at. run in here and see if there's I got a whip and an ambush
All right, I'm running for it. Don't know where I am. There is something over here, though. Titanite shard. What does it say? Treasure! Yes, it is. Hopefully I'm too far below her now that the spells can't hit me. I'm guessing that ladder will get me up to deal with her. Ah, she can fire at me from- okay, we gotta go deal with her. Jeez. I don't know what's happening. I'm just trying to kill her before she kills me. Too late. <laughs> That's that sucks. <laughs> hey there. I hope you're enjoying the videos of the Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.